everybody. My name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. Today we're back with another Monster High video. So I found Spectra, which if you've seen uh, my birthday video, part one of the birthday video, because part two comes out on Wednesday. Um, so I did find Spectra. I showed her off in that video, but I didn't open her because I was holding on to her for her own special video. So here she is. Um, she looks amazing. I love her color palette. As you may know, purple is my favorite color and she is all sorts of shades of purple and indigo and violet and I love it. Now here is the back of the packaging. If you want to read some of that, it has her monster type, her must has her pet. Um, and this is her official artwork. Uh, these are done by Darko Dark. He is an awesome artist. He does art for Rainbow High as well. Uh, here is her barcode. I did find this at Target. Uh, most of the Targets around me have done their summer toy reset. So they put a lot of toys on clearance to bring in new toys. And she's one of the new toys. So I found her on the very top shelf at the Target that I was at. And I don't know where she if, if that's her home at every other Target. Uh, I will put a link to order her uh, if I can find one for Target. And if not... Um, I'll also put one for Amazon as well, and that will be an affiliate link. Uh, so if you order through that Amazon link, then I make a little money so I can spend on more dolls and other things for my channel. <laughs> uh, but anyway, order it where you want to. Go pick it up at Target. Uh, if you're looking for her, she is available. Now, in my birthday video, I did open one of these. Uh, Monster High Potions, which was really interesting. There are six of them on the front of the package that you can get. Uh, we ended up getting the Spectra one, which I will bring back in the video later to look at her. And hopefully we don't get another Spectra, but I picked another one up because I wanted to do another one to see if we can get someone else from the six. I'm probably not going to buy too many of these. Um, I don't know if there's a way to look at codes on these. I don't really see uh, any sort of like code like the Barbie color reveals have. There is a printed like number on the bottom or like molded in the plastic or whatever, but I don't know if that means anything. Uh, if anyone out there knows how to figure out who's in these without opening them I'd love to hear so put a comment down below so we're gonna open this first because it does take a little bit of effort um, again this is a, a monster high potions these are also I found this at Target so I'll put a link for these as well now I love these because they are purple <laughs> I love the purple potion liquid that you get in these. You basically create it. So this is what the potion model looks like out of the package. It has this skullet stopper on top. And it has these little cardboard things that are like this in the packaging. And you can just take those off, obviously. And this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you can open up the latches and pull the bottom off without doing the water color reveal. I'm not sure how these are packaged and I don't want to make a huge mess. So we are just going to do it as intended. I have some water and I have some paper towels here. And if you didn't see my birthday video, no worries. I will show you. This is what the insert looks like. And here are the six that you can get. And again, we did get Spectra in the other one that I bought. 
I'm hoping for Laguna or Frankie, especially. Those are like my two favorites currently. Um, Laguna has always been a favorite of mine, but Frankie has really stolen my heart for this generation. So here's the back, and we did go through this uh, on my other video. It's kind of a weird toy, I will, I will say. You take this lid off, um, and then this little skull, little skelet, does open. Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. So it does open like this, and inside you'll find this little question mark bag. Now these are little charms, and the charms apparently from what I can tell match the character that you're getting inside. Spectras were like translucent, white, like a ghost, and oh, we got pink ones. So I'm thinking we may have got um, Draculaura. Let's see. What we, yes, I think we got Draculaura in here. So there's a little bat one. These are like little charms. There is some cherries because... Uh, Draculaura loves drinking cherry juice, and then a little monster heart of Draculaura's heart with the blood dripping off of it. So these you take and you put in the potion like that. All right, and then you close up the stopper, and then you pour water in here. And again, I am uncertain how much water they want you to put in these. So, um, I just fill it up about, I think that's about halfway. I don't think there's like any sort of mark anywhere. All right, and then you put that lid on and then it, it does have a good seal on it, but I am gonna just kinda keep this paper towel here. So you shake it 13 times, which I'm sure I'm shaking it way more than 13. And then you reveal who you have. And we got Draculaura. And you can see the potion in there is really pretty. It's like this spirally purple potion. I love it. So now you take this off and you pour out the liquid. All right, and I'm getting it everywhere because it is a water toy. And luckily this desk is okay to get water on it. All right, so once you get all of that out of there, um, you're supposed to dig out the charms if they are in here, which doesn't seem like they are. That kind of happened on the other one. Um, it, it does tell you to pour them out and the charms should come out, but but they're stuck in there. So we'll get them out this way. So you take this bottom off by unlatching it, and it is a very tight seal. So you got to be, got to use your muscles. And then this comes out to reveal your little Draculaura. All right, and then there's her, all her charms are right here. All right, we're gonna put the lid back on this. All right, so let her kind of drip dry a bit. There's a little stand on the bottom of this. And this purple stuff gets everywhere, so be ready to wipe up the purple. <laughs> All right, and then she comes right out of here. So we don't need that anymore. Okay, so she is absolutely adorable. Let me get her dried off first. Now, Spectra was the same. Spectra's hair was translucent, and so is Draculaura's, and their head does turn. Um, but that's what she looks like. 
I will say these are really detailed and really adorable. Now, what you can do with these charms is you can put them in their outfits. So there she is with the little bat charm on her outfit. And then they do have a little um, hole in their foot for this stand. They tell you to put the figure on the stand and then it should pull out, but it didn't doesn't want to work that way. So there's the stand. And the stand is actually a skelet, which is really cute. And then once you like rinse this out because it's you know filled with residue, you can put the figure back in there to display it. But these little charms you can put on the front of this bottle when you're not using them on Draculaura's dress. So there's that. And then the other one can go in that middle one. So it's really, really cute. I love the way they did these. Um, I do kind of hope they come out with more with different characters. I hope we don't get the same character over and over again. I hope we get different ones each time. I'd like to see um, like Venus or maybe some of the boys like would be cool to see uh, Deuce in here. So there you have that. Now I will show you real quick so you can put the figure back on here and display her like that. Which is probably how I'm gonna keep them displayed. I'm gonna put the little bat probably up there. So, but for now, I'm gonna leave her out so we can look at her. She is a little top heavy, I will admit. All right, so I brought over Spectra and here is Spectra with all her charms. And I did rinse this bottle out, um, which it definitely looks a lot cleaner. It's easier to see the doll inside when you rinse it out. So Spectra also has the same little stand. And the thing with Spectra is she has these removable ball and chains on both arms. So here's the two of them next to each other. And Spectra's head also turns, so they're very, very similar to each other. And I think they're absolutely adorable. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the whole water reveal stuff, and it's obviously targeted for kids, let's be honest. So, um, I'm not sure if you can open these without doing the water reveal. It would be interesting to find out, and I might do that in a future video, especially if anyone is interested. Just let me know in the comments, and I'll pick up another one, and we'll try it without doing the water reveal. Because I know some of the water reveal toys I, I don't do the water reveal with because it's just... It can be messy, especially with uh, magic mixies. So now that we did that, I am going to get Spectra out of her packaging. And just a real quick look again at her packaging. She does have her little pet Ruin. He is a ghost ferret, basically. All right, I do still need to get this Laguna. And I have not picked up uh, these two uh, Dracula or Claudine, but I did get this Frankie, and I have a, a review of, of Frankie if you want to see that. Um, I'll put a link to that down below. All right, let's get Spectra out of her box. Now, these boxes are super, super easy to open. The plastic just pops right off of these. Uh, and then you just have to snip her out of the box. All 
right, we got Spectra out of her packaging, and here she is. She is really gorgeous. Like, look at her face. Her face reminds me of old school Monster High, like G1 Monster High, because of the cheekbones. A lot of the G1 Monster High dolls had these, like, very sunken in cheekbones. Like, and they all kind of looked like that. Um, no matter who they were, they all kind of, kind of had a very similar face. All right, so she does have beautiful, like, lilac and purple and indigo, like, colored hair. There's, like, at least three colors in that. It's really gorgeous. She has a, a braid on either side pulled back, and her headpiece is being held on by a little plastic fastener on both sides. I'm gonna leave that in because I don't want to mess that up. Um, she has purple eyebrows, which is awesome. Purple lips. Uh, she has a lock and a key for earrings. And then she has these, uh, this really cool like piece that goes around her arms and then in the back, it's like chain. It's very cool. Um, it also has a little spot on the top of this one side, um, which it's like a little notch. And I don't know if maybe her pet is somehow supposed to sit on that on her shoulder. I don't, I don't see any notches in him. Um, we'll take a real quick look. Here is Ruin, the ferret. It's very cute. I like the translucent tail that looks very smoky and ghost-like. And it goes from clear to purple. Um, and then she has a ghost backpack. She is a ghost. It does open very difficultly, but it does. And then it says boo. <laughs> Um, and then I'll show the rest of her accessories after we take a look at um, the rest of her. So she's wearing this overcoat that has like a design to it. And it's kind of like a silver on purple design that matches her outfit as well. It has like chains printed on it. It's very shiny. Um, she does have a separate... Looks like a separate piece. Okay, so the jacket is sewn to this like bl dark blue, like indigo colored part up here. It's a lot darker on camera than it is in person. It's a little more like indigo colored. Uh, and then she has this lower part that is a separate piece. You can see the Velcros here in the back. Uh, it's just like a one-piece shorts. Um, kind of, I don't know what you would call this. It's like shorts, but also a top together. I don't know, like a leotard kind of, sort of. And the this part Velcros in the front on this overcoat. So you can take that off. She has a belt that looks like ball and chains, and then her shoes are also like chains with spiked balls on them. And her arms and her legs both have this white to translucent effect. And you can see the pin in there is white for the hand, and the hands do uh, come off like you would expect on a Monster High doll. That one actually came out really easily. Uh, and then you can see her legs. So this top part of the leg here is molded in white, and then this is all molded in a translucent and then painted, kind of like uh, Laguna's legs are. Um, and then she has the translucent feet. It's very cool. Um, her shoes were being held on by uh, rubber bands, which I'm just taking those off. But I love the way they did this doll. Um, I will say Spectre was, if I was, you know, in 
if I was into G1 at the time it was out, I, I was kind of not into collecting toys as much back then. And I got into Monster High later on when I had to start getting them secondhand. I would have loved to have had a Spectra doll from the first line, but I will say this G3 one is absolutely gorgeous. She's perfect, I think. The color scheme, I just, oh, I just love it. Um, now these dolls don't come with a doll stand, so you will need to provide your own to get them to stand up. But for now, we'll just prop her up here in front of the potions. There we go. Okay, so we already looked at her pet and her backpack. So she comes with a lot of accessories. She comes with a pair of uh, sunglasses that look like chains and they are bent. They're very bent. Now you can try to bend this on your own. I recommend warming it up with a hot water, like boiling water almost, or a hair dryer, and then you can bend that back. Uh, I'm not gonna try it, I don't wanna break it. She comes with a drink that has a skullette on it. And it looks like a mason jar, but it's done in like a pink and a purple. Um, let's see, does the top, yeah, the top uh, does come off. So that's cool. The straw, I think, is attached to that, it feels like. So she also comes with this little bottle of like ketchup, I think. Uh, it's really hard to see. I think it's like ketchup or hot sauce. Um, and it's really crooked the way the lid on it and everything. It's kind of, I think the heat got to it like it did to her sunglasses. Um, she comes with her own eye coffin, which is a ghost. It's a little blue ghost. And it has a screen that is unique to her. It has a little ghost icon on it. Uh, and then she comes with this little, um, I think it's like little ghosts, some sort of like, she can actually hold this. It's like a little coffin shaped container with nuggets. I think they're supposed to be like chicken nuggets that are shaped like ghosts. So there's the little ghost nuggets. They do look like chicken nuggets. <laughs> so I guess the sauce probably goes with the nuggets. So it's probably like hot sauce or ketchup, like I was thinking. And then she has this tablet, which I don't think we've seen many tablets that come with the characters. And it is just coffin shaped with a skelet on the back. It's very cool. Um, so she can hold all of these items that she came with, which I will say that is an accomplishment because sometimes they give them um, items that don't have the little thing for them to hold, but she can hold that. She can hold her chicken nuggets. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so we got her to hold her hot sauce and her chicken nuggets. It's very cool. Maybe she can even like try to put some on. There we go. She's gonna add some hot sauce. I'm gonna say it's spicy ketchup. <laughs> maybe it's, oh, maybe it's ghost pepper sauce. That's probably what it is. Let me see the box. The box usually calls out, yes, so her monster must-haves are phantom nuggets and ghost pepper sauce. So I didn't even, I didn't even read that when I first looked at it. So it is ghost pepper sauce and phantom nuggets, so that's cute. Now be careful with those nuggets, they like to fall out of that. So she can hold her phone which usually works really well if you put it in their left hand. So I guess, I guess a lot of the monsters are left-handed. So she can look at that. 
she can hold her drink there we go um, I can try to put the glasses on her but I'm, I'm afraid they're not gonna work very well but yeah they're a little crooked because that one side but that's what her glasses look like and you can see her eyes through them which honestly is awesome because I am so tired of sunglasses that you can't see through at all uh, it's just kind of annoying all right so as far as articulation goes with this doll she does have the head tilt and it can turn left to right um, she has a upper chest joint so she can move around like that she can actually um, move around a little more than some of the other dolls so it's not bad she has the ball jointed shoulder she has the joint in her elbow so like there like a 90 degree her hand is removable so it does spin and can go up and down her legs are on a sort of kind of a ball joint so she can do the splits a bit her legs spin at the knee like that and they go about 90 degrees and no uh, ankle articulation but she has really good range of motion so you can get some like nice uh, photos, photos of her you know different poses and stuff and I gotta say she's probably one of my all-time favorite Monster High character design as, as well as character design goes for G3 um, she looks amazing I love the color scheme uh, I love the face up and the proportions she just looks amazing and I love the translucent hands and legs it's very cool so her backpack you can get around her um, on her back if you want but a lot of times what I do is I just put it over the one arm like that to make it a little easier and then you can even um, like you can stick the hot sauce in here so you can kind of see the hot sauce poking out I like I like displaying them like that um, so I think you could probably get the phone in there you could get the nuggets in there I mean you could store a lot of her items in her bag um, so you, you know like if you put enough items in the bag and then have her hold a couple then you don't have to worry about storage and like putting her items in storage or losing them um, so so there we go there we have it spectra from g3 you'll have to let me know if you have her in the comics or if you want to get her um, she is so cute i love her <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh tune in on wednesday for part two of my birthday video and i hope you enjoy that as well have a wonderful week or weekend whenever you're watching this and i hope you guys know how much i appreciate all your comments and your likes and your shares um it just makes my day. I love responding to all the comments. So definitely leave me a comment. I love reading them. Take care out there. See you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.